day six. She's co-opting from Matthew McConaughey's style. Yeah, all right, all right. And I'm gonna keep saying it because it cracks me up every time. Anyways. <laughs> So there it is. We're doing a little bit of work today, and I'm doing a little bit of trailer maintenance today in between work. I am caulking some seams that I see are cracked because I don't want them to get wet. I don't want water inside the inside the wall. So I'm doing a little bit of maintenance. It seems like that is life with an RV is constant maintenance. So hopefully this will be a, a, a solution that lasts a little while, gets us gets us down the road a ways. But it's just little seams that are cracking uh, around luggage compartments and stuff like that. So. And we're considering drilling a hole in the roof for the for the uh, we boost, but I still don't he know nervous. He, yeah, yeah, he's super nervous. A hole in the roof yet, so we may not do that today. He kept going back and forth last night, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? So I'll probably do a little bit of YouTubing and see other people's results and and how they've done it, and uh, and then move forward with it. I've got a junction box and all the stuff ready to go, and I don't think it's going to really be an issue. But at the same time, it's drilling a hole in the roof of your RV. So that's what we're doing. We're about ready to go get lunch. We're about ready to get a workout in and then finish up our day. Make you feel nervous? A little bit. <laughs> it is a little bit nerve wracking to have a hole. I'm like, uh, so water going to come through there. Nah, that's why you see it. Yeah, but still. Anyways. Are done with the ceiling? No. You got to do... Oh, you got to do some more. Yeah. The more you look, the more you see. Uh, this is our office chairs. It's been nice and cool this morning. I'm over here at the picnic table writing. And yeah, it is grocery shopping time, guys. Uh, gotta head in here to the commissary and get some food. <laughs> Go hopefully stay on the list so you know how that goes. Hey, how are you doing? Wonderful, why? <laughs> it's a small grocery trip, huh? Yeah, because we just spent three hundred dollars yesterday. Alright, so today we did a little bit of maintenance on the trailer. One of the most instructive things about or for a trailer is water, water intrusion, water in the walls, water in the ceiling, etc., etc. So I had already noticed that there were some seams that needed to be caulked. I went down and picked up some GeoCell ProFlex caulking, which is really good caulking, and I started working on the trailer. And then, as with most things, once you start working on it, you start noticing more and more and more and more. So we ended up doing quite a bit of caulking today on the trailer, just to kind of do some maintenance. So if you want to look, you'll see that these seams here, this is all stuff that we had to cock all around these and eventually we just ended up doing just about every seam on here. The big areas, in fact the biggest area, if we go around front, duck your head here, this all had to be replaced because it was all cracked and uh, water could get in there. And this one slide here really had a whole bunch of cracks, like wide cracks. So we re this here. This is the bedroom slide, and you can see where I put a pretty thick bead that's still drying right there because uh, it looks like maybe there's some issues with that slide because it's got a pretty big gap there. I'm going to figure out what I need to do about that. And then we went and did all the cargo slam, uh, doors and whatnot. So it was pretty pretty big job uh, this side wasn't quite as bad but we still put a pretty good bead of silicone or it's not silicone pretty good bead of caulking there so that's what we did today for the RV we also worked on the antenna and we're still still have a temporary installation because I eh, still didn't want to drill into the ceiling and actually I started to and realized I didn't have a big enough drill bit, long enough drill bit in all of a sudden. So I didn't have a long enough drill bit so we didn't go ahead and do that. We got to run under the back window. The nice thing about the type of windows we have is you can have them open and uh, it can rain. You, they're not sliders so they actually deflect the rain if it rains so it's not a big deal to keep that window open. So 
one of these days I'll get around to actually installing it permanently. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Gonna just wrap up day six. <laughs> right, babe, day six? I think so. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot to report, share, show, experience. Yes. Well, we did a lot of work today. We worked yeah. and I resealed all the seams on the RV that were cracked and not in great shape. Mm -hmm. right. I'm learning that this RV life is a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance. Maybe maybe if you buy a brand new one, you don't get all the maintenance. But from what I hear, if you buy a brand new one, you spend the first year or so in the shop with the warranty to work from the stuff that the manufacturers didn't get correct. So either way, a lot of work has to be done on your RV. So, fortunately, we should be good. We should be ready to go now. We've got our antennas up. We've got our maintenance done. Hopefully, it's just driving and enjoying the trip now. That's what we're hoping. Right now, we're heading to do laundry. Candace is going to do laundry. <laughs> we're going to do it together. I'm going to run some errands. So, yeah. that's what we're going to do. Then, when we get back home, we're going to put the laundry away. We're going to cook some food. We're going to... Uh, clean up. We started cleaning up, but we got a mess to clean up. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how fast a uh, 350 or 400 square foot RV can get messy. Real quick. It takes when, about two seconds. Yeah, when you don't put stuff away. So, we got to clean up, get ready to go. Um, I said I'm cooking some food. We we tend to cook for you know, four or five days at a time, so we don't have to just break out the grill and cook some more. Especially since how the grill's all loaded up on a trailer. That's just the way we normally do our lifestyle, so not a big deal. It makes mm -hmm. it really convenient so that we can stay on our on our normal diet instead of eating out. I don't know about you, but eating out sucks every day. It's good once in a while, but every day sucks. So, And while we're on the road, it's really nice to have food ready to go so we can just stop, do a little quick picnic, and then get back on the road. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I guess that's it. Y'all, day six. Gonna hit the road in the morning. The goal is seven. Seven. Uh, heading towards Calgary. Calgary. We'll be in Canada. Yay! I haven't been to Canada probably I think since high school. So it'll be cool to see. All right, y'all. As usual, I appreciate you being here, watching us, coming along on the trip. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification button so you don't miss a thing, y'all. Take care. See y'all tomorrow.